Then we can continue with the next one, and I will use a different color. I will use green um, for the subtask B. And in B, we have a voltage of 50 nanovolts, and we should convert this into a voltage level of uh, or given in dB <coughs> microvolt. Ah, and the Necro Mongo God is once again active on the chat and just said uh, base E is the the base for the natural logarithm. Excellent. So I, have, I, I also have the chat window here. Okay, so what, what do you do in subtask B? We can at first do the very same conversion of the units and say if we have 50 nanovolts, how many microvolts would this be? Yeah, this multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 3, so I could also write it as 0 0.05 microvolt. Okay, and next step? Put this value in the equation. Put this value into the equation. 20 log. But instead of the factor 10, do we use this factor 20 as we have discussed because power is proportional to the square of the voltage and <coughs> this exponent of 2 moves to the front of the logarithm and that's why the 10 turns into a 20. So we have the level of a voltage is 20 times the decadic logarithm of the 0 0.05 microvolt divided by 1 microvolt. Okay, and then we can probably yeah, um, directly use the calculator, calculate the stuff, and um, before we have a result, w w what should be the sign of the result? Minus. It should be minus. Why, uh, why should it be minus? Because it is, uh, it is below one. That's why. Yeah, because the ratio here or the argument of the logarithm function is smaller than one. And logarithm of 1 is 0, logarithm of something that is larger than 1 is positive, logarithm of something that is smaller than 1 is negative. So if we calculate a negative level, it does not mean that the voltage is negative, it just means that the, the voltage is smaller than the reference voltage that we use there. Okay, and so I will go back to my octave window here, maybe move this a little bit to the other side and say um, our voltage is 50 nano. So nano means 10 to, the power of 10 to the power of minus 9. So I can write 50 E minus 9. Our reference voltage is 1 micro. Micro is minus 6. Minus six 10 to the power of minus 6. And so the voltage level is 20 times log 10 of voltage divided by reference voltage, and then we get minus 26. dB. And here for the 50, I could also say, okay, this is um, 50 dB, but it, it does not really matter at the end because remember the the dB is not really a unit, it's a pseudo unit, so we can add dB or delete dB, it does not really matter. Um, but I will, I will write here, okay, this is minus 26 dB and the reference voltage is microvolt. Okay, questions so far for this subtask? Yeah. Minus 26. Yeah. 20, uh, times logarithm. Uh, why, it's, why it's 20? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's 20 because, so the logarithm is always defined for power. And if we have electrical power, um, so yeah, maybe let's use green here for, for this. So if you have electrical power, how you can calculate power in electrical engineering? Yeah, it's at first, let's say it's voltage times current. Yes. And so if we have 
a resistive load, some resistance. How can we calculate resistance? Is voltage divided by current. And so now we can rearrange this equation and say, okay, we can also say that um, voltage is resistance times current or current is voltage divided by resistance. And so now if we, um, if we take the voltage and insert it over there, so then we end up with power is current squared times resistance or if we take this equation and insert it in here then we get power is voltage squared divided by resistance and so now we, we would take this power and insert the power into our formula here for the decibel level for the, for the level and so then our voltage level looks like 10 times decadic logarithm of let's say the voltage um, squared divided by some resistance and we would need to have to do the same for our reference power and also express our reference so yeah I've, I've just expressed our power in terms of voltage and we do the same for the reference power. We also express the reference power in terms of a voltage. So it will be U0 squared divided by the resistance. And then we can say, okay, in RF engineering, in microwave engineering, in EMC, all the cables, generators, um, sources, loads, they always have a reference impedance of 50 ohm. For example, or if you have TV cables, they have a characteristic impedance of 75 ohm, um, but there is usually some fixed resistance. Or we could at, at least say, okay, we, 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 we take the very same resistance um, to express our voltage as the reference voltage, so the resistances are the same, so we can just cancel them. Mm -hmm. And then there is this mm, logarithmic rule that says you can move the exponent to the front and then the 10 turns into a 20. That's, this, is, this is why here we have 20. So the reason why we have 20 is because of the 2 here, the 2 in this formula. Okay, um, more questions? Then would there be another way um, to somehow calculate this, what, what happens here? Why do we end up with minus 26? Do you remember the table that we had? Mm, yeah, but, but why exactly 26? Why not 25 minus 25 or why not minus 24 or why not minus 28? Because of the 5? Because of the five? Um, and 5 is like half of 10. And remember a factor of 2 for powers was 3 dB and for current and voltage and root power quantities was 6 dB. So if we double something, if we have twice the power, or, um, um, twice the power means plus 3 dB, half of the power means minus 3 dB. Twice the voltage means plus 6 dB, half of the voltage means minus 6 dB. And so we, we could also write our power. Um, let's go back to the green color at first. We could also write our power, uh, our, our voltage as half of 100 uh, nanovolt. And 100 nanovolt would be half of 0.1 microvolt or I could also write it as um, 1 over 2 times 10 microvolt so and 1 over 10 um, so 10 times more for powers is expressed in dB if you if, if we would have a factor of 10 here uh, how many dB would we get? 
Yeah, well, the logarithm would be 1 and multiplied with 10 would be 10. So a factor of 10 for power is 10 dB. If we would have 100, would be would be 20. If we have 1,000, would be 30. If we have 10,000, would be 40, and so on and so on. So, and if we go down, if we have 1 over 10, minus. would be minus 10. If we have 100, it would be minus 20 dB. If we have 1,000, <coughs> minus 30, and so on and so on. And for voltages, it's the same but twice. So 10 times the voltage means plus 20 dB. A hundred times the voltage means plus 40 dB. A thousand times the voltage means 60 dB and so on and so on. And so if we have a tenth of the voltage is minus 20 dB and half of this is another minus 6. And that's why, that's why I don't know if this will be still visible or if it will be hidden behind my camera window, but I could also say, okay, the, the, the voltage level here um, is yeah, minus 20 dB because of the 1 over 10 and then another minus 6 dB because of the half and this at the end is minus 26 dB. Um, just another way to ma make this calculation easier in your head yeah, to think about such values. Um, what is double and what is half and what is and, and the same also would work for um, four times, so if you double the power, which is, uh, no, if you have the fourfold of the power, so you double the power and you double the power, then it's just plus 3 dB, plus 3 dB, so plus 6 dB. Um, yeah, so remember the table that we had in the lecture. And this uh, somehow reminds me of a funny story. Um, when I moved into our apartment in Magdeburg, um, there was uh, some some TV box in the in the basement of the building where the cable, let's say, comes from the from the street and is distributed in the house so that you have TV reception by a cable in the house. And something was not really working with our TV, and we we uh, were living in the fourth floor, so there was quite a long cable going through the building from this, let's say, uh, base station in the basement to our apartment. And so then there was some person coming from the cable company with some measurement instrument to measure what is the, the level, the signal level in the basement, what is the signal level in our apartment, and would check if this is the proper level for the proper TV reception. And so he had, he had some measurement instrument, and uh, I was a little bit looking over his shoulder what is what he's doing there, and I told him, hey, what, what is this? And so I'm, I also study electrical engineering. Can you maybe explain me a little bit what, what you're doing there? And so then he explained to me that he somehow is measuring the signal levels there, and he said, and he, he, he was, let's say, just a technician. Yeah, He did not really study electrical engineering. He was just trained to use this instrument. And so he told me, yeah, he has to be careful because his um, the levels that he need to check are given in um, in dB, and the levels that the instrument displays are given in dB microvolt. And so he has to convert. And so from his company, he was sent to the university or to some uh, college, and there was a professor, and the professor was explaining them him in his group something about the decibel and the logarithm, and he did not really understood. But finally, the answer was he has to add or subtract seven, uh, 60 yeah, because, of this, because of this conversion from volt into, um, I don't know, it was, I think it was not uh, microvolt, it was millivolt or something. Yeah, but the, in, in, like with voltages, you would have to multiply by 1000 to get from volt into millivolt and vice versa, and so he had it to add or subtract 60. And this was, he was totally happy with this answer, so he did not care about the logarithm and all the, all the formulas there. He, he would just know, okay, I measure something, I have to add 60 or I have to subtract uh, 60 to um, compare this with the limits that are given there in his table.